All right, just looking at ETH here. What am I expecting over the next few days? Are we heading up or are we heading down, okay? Now, if we take a look on the 15 minute chart or the hourly chart, we can see obvious accumulation here. So I think at least in the short term to midterm, we're heading up, looking at about, um, about 1720 for my long target. Okay, and then once we hit 1720 and take this high, I think we do drop down a little bit. Okay, but you know, we may just continue shooting up. So I'm not going to look to short here unless I see multiple confirmations. So let's just go over what I'm seeing currently on the chart. So we've taken out all the lows from this entire leg up. Okay, so resting below each low here is liquidity. I think all of this liquidity got used up and filled long positions here. So we have this broken base right here that led to this whole move up. So we have a sweep, a break above the high that swept the low, and then we revisited this area, okay? We then swept this key low right here, and this key low. Before we did sweep these lows, what do you think is resting below here? Liquidity, okay? Remember, we're not trying to predict if price is going to reverse after taking the liquidity. All we are doing is marking out the levels and waiting for the reaction. Once we see the reaction, and then once we see multiple confirmations that confirm that this is manipulation, then we can look to enter. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. Okay. So we swept these key lows and we formed another broken base here. Right here. Now, once we do take 1720, this is the level that I'm expecting to be retested. However, we can just continue up and continue to rally. So if we do see multiple confirmations to get short around 1720, I will take the shorts, okay? Um, just on derivatives, so I'm not, I'm not uh, going to be messing with my spot positions. So if we take 1720 and see multiple confirmations to the downside, that would look a little bit like this. Okay, that's one confirmation. And then another confirmation here, something like that. And then I can look to get short targeting this area here. And then once we reach this area around 1400, I would then look for more confirmations to get long to the upside. Now, if we do get the confirmations down at this level, then obviously the target will just be all time highs. Okay, even 2500 and above. But for now, just looking at 1720 for my intraday target, then once we hit there, if we start to drop down, then I'm looking at 1400 roughly. So if we go down onto the 15 minute time frame here, we can break this setup down. Okay, so we have a sweep of a key low right here. We look for the high that swept the low, which is right here. And now this is a broken base or a breaking market structure, whatever you want to call it, that's fine. Now, earlier this morning, we had a sweep of this low right here. And then we broke above the high that swept the low, forming a broken base or a breaking structure, whatever you want to call it. So I'm long from about this level right here with my stop right below. If we are going to continue up here, we really don't want to see um, this intraday trade invalidated. If we do break this low, then I think we're heading much lower down into my $1,400 level. So if we break this low and continue to form confirmations to the downside, this will be the first area I would expect to bounce. If we don't bounce here, then we're going straight to 1400, where I would then look for reaccumulation, like I explained earlier, to get long into um, all time highs. But for now, I'm in this intraday long. Let's see how this plays out. So the whole market for now, especially for today is looking bullish. I think we see a continuation of this up move. Right, this move that we saw yesterday during New York, I think was just a small retracement consolidation. Okay, so I think we do head up if we break 1720. Okay, and just continue moving to the upside without any pullback. Then obviously, we're just looking for um, simple SR levels to take um, small amounts of profit. Okay, so I'll probably hold on to this position and just wait until I see some kind of um, lower time frame distribution before looking at closing. Okay. So this is just on um, this is just on derivatives. So this isn't uh, my spot position here. No worries, guys. Thank you. Bye.